last week alone. Yeah, I was one of wow. those guys. Uh, Jake Busey is new to the cast this season, but he is here we now. Got him. Yeah. Here we are. Jake. Kate was saying she loves the hair this season. Loves the That's hair. That's a good 80s hair. Right we, yeah, now. we wanted to figure out what would be a good thing to do, and we started looking at blonde actors from the 80s, and, and, and in fact, the year. And uh, of course, you're going to shoot for high goals, right? So we found a picture of Redford, and I was like, "There's oh. a guy with blonde hair. Let's let's do that." And so I mean, I'm no little R R. How yeah. great is that, right yeah, there? Yeah, that does yeah. look a little old school. Him. Were you a fan of Stranger Things before you signed on? I was an immense fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I was watching season two, and I was thinking to myself. God, I, I would love to be on a show like that, but I'm not the kind of guy that gets that that lucky to be on that kind of show. And uh, and the next thing I knew, I'd audition for him, and then huh. bam, 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 I was on the show, and I was like, bench me, please. <laughs> Yeah, crazy. I mean, I felt like I was dreaming. It's yeah. kind of funny how you can manifest some of those things in your life, right? Yeah. You, you had yeah. this vision for your life, and then things start to move that direction. Yeah, it was an accidental manifestation. Oh, I'll honestly, take it. Honestly, yeah. And during the time it was, it was pilot season. So actors are constantly auditioning for something, mm -hmm. like, you know, two, three times a day. And you lose track of what the project even is because you got to study all this dialogue, right? Mm -hmm. So just where's the address? What time do I got to be there? And I'll, I'll come prepared. So my manager calls me and says, hey, good news, uh, you know, Stranger Things wants to see you back again. I was like, I read for Stranger Things? <laughs> <laughs> this Whoa. is strange. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. Uh, so, so he said, yeah, now this time do a great job. And I said, <laughs> no Don't pressure. Suck. Don't suck this out. But is it true that 10 years prior to that, you were living in your car? Yeah, yeah. 2010 into 11 was a rough one for me. Yeah. I, I had had a lull, sort of as they say in baseball, I was in a bit of a slump. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't have enough money. I was kind of living just paycheck to paycheck kind of residuals and just getting by. And the house burned from the inside of the walls, like an old fireplace. And um, it was like the creosote and the chimney hadn't been cleaned. And oh. so it, a, a fire caught in, yeah, like weirdly inside the walls and it burned down and I didn't have money for first class and security. Mm. And uh, thankfully I grew up here in Los Angeles, I have a lot of friends around and I was able to stay with different friends. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it, I got through it. Yeah, thankfully. and now married with a yeah. beautiful daughter. Yes. Yeah, well, she was one of the people who let me stay at her house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about your dad. We've had him on our show several times. Give us some little nugget. Look at this great picture. Growing up, what was he like as a dad? He was a great dad. He wasn't the um, buy your dad a set of craftsman tools for Father's Day dad. <laughs> right? Uh, Can imagine. Yeah, it was different. And when you're a kid, you kind of wish, like, I wish my dad would take me camping like all of my friends. You want normal do. before you know yeah. what's unique about it. Right. But I was completely forgetting that as I was having these thoughts, I'm standing on stage in the wings uh, of, of Willie Nelson's show as we're on tour with Willie and the family for like two or three weeks. Or in, just cuz. Yeah, yeah, or just cuz, yeah, or in, in the studio at, at Mick Fleetwood's house while they're oh. mixing down uh, Tusk. Oh. And, um, Greatest song of all time. Yeah, 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 that was cool. So these are the things that I just kind of took for granted. And then when I was later in life, in my 20s, I, I, I realized, okay, that, um, that, that was some pretty monumental stuff. So thanks, Dad. <laughs> Do you have the moment where you want to be like, hey, Dad? Got this thing I want to show you, and you just queue up Stranger Things season three, and you're like, "Yeah, check this out." <laughs> right? He'd say, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said, "You know, I did a movie back in '85." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, congratulations to you. Thank and are you, you geeking out over what? I am. The teeth. He, Scott's got teeth in me. You got teeth, really nice teeth. The teeth and the eyes. And the it eyes. Looks like, he looks like he's owned a boat. I'm just I saying. Knew it. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I keep my dentist busy. There you go. Tom Hirsch in Malibu. He's the guy. <laughs> he's, he's the guy. Tom, I'm coming Tom, to see you. Tom, coming for you. Coming for you. <laughs> Season three of Stranger Things is available now on if you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.